how to make a children's book. I'm gonna tell you how my fat Asian um. illustrated a children's book. So the story is written by my friend Komodo. It's about two girls who sees a pink raindrop and I think it's absolutely adorable. Designing characters. I really struggle with character design so my tight anus was so glad that it was already designed by someone else and all I had to do was just tweak it. Thumbnails. So I thumbnailed all the 28 pages according to the script. A thumbnail is like a really shitty sketch just to have a rough idea and uh, to have a whole view of the entire thing. That's why it suck. It's not even a sketch, boo. Actually painting the flame. It's almost, it's almost the same process for all the 28 paintings. So I'm just gonna show you how I illustrated one. Yay. I'm gonna start with the thumbnail. Then I'm just gonna do a shitty sketch to paint over with. My line art is just a guide for me. That's why it's kinda shitty. It's just a guide for painting. <laughs> then I put flat colors on different layers. Uh, they're on different layers because when you press control and click the layer it selects the area and you can paint outside of it which is really useful when you're dealing with complex colors and shading then I added a bit of texture on the background um, then I added shadows using adjustment layers and then I removed the lines and finalized <laughs> congratulations and celebration I just kinda repeated the process for the remaining illustrations uh, from thumbnail to sketch to finish um, just a tip for drawing a large sweaty body of work pace yourself really well do not be overworked being overworked is a bitch you end up being sadder and taking even longer so sometimes, even though you think you can go on, it's sometimes wiser to stop. I limited myself to one illustration and one revision per day. I think it's a good balance of working and taking it easy. The book is on Kickstarter now. The link is in the description below. That's kind of I give you a kiss.